Okay, we are at the playroom. Now, the playroom as a room in Ronald McDonald House Central Alberta, pretty self-explanatory. Lots of toys, lots of opportunities for kids just to forget about what's going on in their world and to play. We have a very special family here today that I want to introduce you to, and they are absolutely fantastic. Joining me now are members of the Moore family. Give everybody a wave, Moores. <laughs> Let's give them a hand. They are here today with their parents, Lisa and Brian Moore. And Lisa, Brian, and the family had an opportunity to use uh, Ronald McDonald House of Southern Alberta. And uh, their experience there uh, was, had a profound impact on the family. They are our spokes family. They were here for the groundbreaking of Ronald McDonald House Central Alberta. And so they have been very invested in this project from the beginning. I know sometimes it's pretty hard to stand up in front of a group of people and tell your story, but Lisa is going to do that today. Lisa and Brian, can you come and join me here? And let's give them a big round of applause. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to start sharing just a few points about our story, um, what has brought us to be a part of this amazing celebration that is soon to be happening for a lot of families that will be benefiting from this amazing house. Sometimes laughter really is the best medicine. The playroom not only offers toys and games, but it also offers an opportunity for children to forget about appointments and treatments. Contagious laughter can be felt throughout the house, and a child can just be a child, even if it is only for a few short moments. Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, and beautiful children. My name is Lisa Moore, and this is my husband, Brian, and our children, Janea, Colton, Davin, Weston, and Boyd. I would like to share with you my own personal thoughts and feelings about the playroom. My family stayed at the Ronald McDonald House in Calgary for 41 days when our twin boys were born 88 days premature. When we were going through the very early arrival of Weston and Boyd, our family unit was torn apart by me needing to be in Calgary, Brian needing to be at home working, and our three older children continuing to go to school. Having the opportunity of my family come to see me in Calgary were joyous days and moments for me. As I was isolated from my family and my friends being two hours away from everyone. The playroom at the house gave my children the opportunity to play with each other as well as other children that were staying at the house in a safe, fun, and open room. This gave Brian and I the chance to discuss what we needed to about Weston and Boyd's care, health, challenges, and achievements. It is very hard when there is a lot of important decisions that have to be made to expect children to sit quietly while the adults talk. Sometimes those discussions were not meant for little years, simply because it was not their concern, worry, or stress. It gave my heart peace hearing my kids give giggle as they played in the playroom and were ultimately just being kids. The Ronald McDonald House slogan is giving sick kids what they need most, their families. They do that and so much more. You just never know when someone in your family may need this facility. We sure didn't, but it was our saving grace. No matter what your donation amount has been, whether it's from a bottle drive, a bake sale, hot dog sale, or a corporate donation, every dollar and cent has made this dream a reality for the families who have stayed at the Ronald McDonald House, presently are staying at the Ronald McDonald Houses, and those who will utilize them in the future. We live in an amazing, thoughtful, caring community and province. We would like to personally thank you all. Sorry. for your contribution to the new Ronald McDonald House Central Alberta, and for those who choose to continue their support to this much needed facility. Our hearts will forever be grateful for your unselfish generosity. It's hard to find the words that truly express how we feel, but these words from Thena Smith express what's in our hearts. Gratitude is the heart's memory 
in our daily workday world. Sometimes it's hard to impart all the love and gratitude that's in our heart. Sometimes there seems to be no words to say that you enrich our lives and bless our day. Let us try to show you just how we really feel as our feelings of appreciation and love we reveal. Thank you for all, for everything you've done, and most of all, to express just how grateful we are for you. And Weston and Boyd have something personal that they would like to say.